the challenger and former middleweight champion of the world, Roy Jones Jr. The two-time world champion and reigning super middleweight champion of the world, James Lights Out Pony. And, and Jim, uh, you know Roy Jones Jr. Here's that quick left token from an unorthodox angle, Jones. And again, you can see the quickness of Jones at side to side. Tony has been cautious and measured in his approach. Right hand misses for James. There's a quick right hand by Jones and it. No holding, no holding. Time to get out. Not protecting his chin. He got it up there though. The Thunder one left hook behind Tony's guard, but. Most of these punches being blocked on the gloves by James Tony. Oh, he's still scoring some points. Tony has to punch back. Don't angles. Right hand to the body by Jones. Finally, James Tony gets through with a left hook. Good right hand. There's that quickness. Leaping with the. He's hurt the right hand against Bernard Hopkins a few fights punch back. To get out. And after Jones had landed over the top. Pressure, physical and mental. On Jones and Jones. And the left hook got yeah. behind the guard, Gil. Jones wobbled Tony just like. Him without throwing punches. Low blows by Jones. Steele didn't say anything. And still the edge in quickness is decisive. Attempt fate, I think. Left hook. You know, his seat I think it was a knockdown. He wobbled back, but he did not go down. It is officially scored as a knockdown as the second time in this fight so far. But he certainly looked faster against Tony than... Right hand no lead by Jones. Punch get out! the right hand in sparring he's using it here and so far fairly effectively right. on that right hand to set up the left hook sweeping left hook fight gestures and fists we don't see from that angle I have another angle that we can see it here it'll tell us right now you see his, his he did stagger back but he didn't go down harold letterman let's open harold quickly why might that have been scored a knockdown harold jim if the run if the run betting on the body another left hook by jones solid left hook again what's hawking does it do you a bit of good with the extra weight the spotting some traps uh, he traps jones against these right hand then left hook combinations Good left by Jones as he wound the right. Only a prize fighter after taking some of these punches could say that. Give him up, Tony. Point. Right hand, witness and defense. And if you're ahead, he can certainly kill the clock. Big left hook. Big left hook by Jones. Two left hooks. Tony pretending not to be hurt, but he's wobbled. Here's where John, Tony has to get off when he has him on the ropes. He's got to bank to the body immediately. He's got to be busier. That left hand. Good luck, guy. Solid left hook. If we can see him, because James Tony doesn't apparently be able to see him. There's a perfect example of an orth unorthodox punch coming when you leave, when you don't expect it, Gil. And you don't. Let him go. Let him go. Get on that left hook. That fast left hook. They're in the corner again, and again, who gets off first? He was down on points when he knocked out none. So it's not out of the question, but seven begins. But again, again, solid left. Tony in a little bit of trouble. 
Jones is really never directly in front of the doxy. Hesitate, hesitate. Wait for an opening. Jones gets off first and beats him to the punch. Yeah, you can see, you can see Tony hesitating. Here that you might have given to the champion. Eight pounds, eight pounds up from the old middleweight limit of 160. Uh, again, again, uh, Jones comes back in the exchanges. Good left hook by James Tony. Best punch of the fight for Tony. But they haven't, they haven't really hurt each other that badly yet. I was, they just wiped right off. Him. I thought that Tony was hurt a couple of times during the fight, Larry. Not seriously, but hurt. How about now? Right now. He's just being completely overwhelmed. And I think a left hook to the body hurt James Tony badly to set this up. A punch at it. Two more left. <laughs> it's Both men have dispensed with the jab completely. And just walking in. Sledgehammer right over the top by Tony. Lancing blow. Didn't get all of the top of the body early on. There's a left hook by James Tony. And Jones comes back with a fury. Combination by Jones, but not punching his way in effectively. Constantly moving, constantly fainting. Go holy! Down in the third. When he's against the ropes, he actually pulls his head back. Jones. Yeah, they're cooling each other off with those mitts. Again, uh, Tony Moon. Let's see who gets off first here. Oh. The can get the clock. That could be an indicator. Agreed. Jones only threw 32 punch. It was in the 11th round when Tony scored the dramatic comeback knockout of Michael Dunn back Come in on, 19. Man. That Roy Jones is. Deludes himself into believing that he's still got a shot at winning a decision here. I would have to say the fighter, yes, but the trainer should know better. It's body work on the ropes, but it's probably too little. Try to lift the champion. This goes to show you that James has built a following in his three years as a world champion. Or there are a lot of people who bet on him. Jones nailed Tony with a solid left hook. And You're tempted to say, Larry, that Jones here, it would almost have to be the Olympics. Now, if this was taken away from, from uh, Roy Jones, it would be worse than the Olympics. Nation style commitment that we all think would be necessary. He's fainting, fainting, fainting. What is he waiting for? Keep him up. But I didn't do that too often, but when they're building toward the climax he needs, he just can't get off. Can't get off. One minute to go. Big left hook by Jones. Yet waited all this time to regain center stage. And now tonight, in the biggest fight of his career, against the winner by unanimous decision and new super middleweight champion of the world.